I'm a dog guy. I'll put up with a cat, but I'm a dog guy. You know why? Because all cats are Tory MPs. All cats do is lounge around all day thinking about how much money they've got. Have you ever seen a cat lying in the sun with its tail flicking every few seconds? Do you know what that tail flicking indicates? How much interest that cat just made on its money. All cat characteristics are conservative characteristics. They're mean, they're manipulative, they're calculating, they're isolationist, they voted for Brexit and they don't like foreigners. Unless, of course, you've got a super yacht. Cats, like Tory MPs, don't give a damn about anybody but themselves. If a cat you don't know comes up to you and starts being nice to you, it's because you've got something they want or need. And in the case of a Tory MP, it's usually cash, land, oil, liquid gas, or some precious mineral. And once they get what they want, they go back to being arseholes. And if you don't believe me, go on YouTube and see how many cats pushed off off tables, chairs, and work surfaces, despite numerous warnings not to by their owners. I don't know what Kurt Zuma's cats did to him before he was filmed kicking one in an online video, but there wouldn't have been anywhere near as much outrage had he just kicked Michael Gove or Jacob Rees-Mogg. Dogs, on the other hand, put effort into everything they do, be it tearing up a sofa cushion, digging up your lawn, or trying to dry hump you from behind as you load the washing machine. A dog looks at a manicured lawn and thinks, oh, but it has bones under there. Whereas a cat looks at a manicured lawn and thinks, hmm, when the sun hits that, that'll make an excellent spot for me to count my interest. Dogs are the ultimate team players. There's a reason dogs have more military medals and commendations for bravery than any cat. Mostly because cats said, you want me to do what now? You want me to jump into a live combat zone, clear landmines, sniff out weapons, drugs, and explosives, plus, you want me to attack vicious and armed dangerous criminals while I'm at it? Do I look like a German Shepherd to you? So what if I can lick my own junk? Chuck a ball, buddy. See who gets to it first. I'm willing to put money on it that it ain't gonna be me. You're in it together with the dog, which is why you always see them skateboarding, rock climbing, bungee jumping, or whitewater rafting. There's a reason Lassie knew Timmy fell down a well, because Lassie climbed out and Timmy couldn't. I bet somewhere in the world right now, there's a dog leading rescuers to a person in a collapsed building, an avalanche or a landslide. Whereas somewhere in the world, there is a cat licking the face of its owner just to double check to make sure that they're dead before they start eating their face. Oh sure, dogs will drink from the toilet bowl now and again. They'll drag their ass across the living room carpet when their butts get itchy, and they'll lick their privates in public. But let's be honest, if you could reach, who amongst us can honestly say they wouldn't do the same? And let's be frank here, a lot of us already spend a lot of time and effort trying to persuade other people to lick our privates for us. I'll say one good thing about cats, and that is they give dogs something else to chase other than squirrels. Oh, and it's fun to watch them lose their mind trying to catch a laser pointer dog. Whereas Tory MPs tend to panic and dive for cover. The main difference between cats and Tory MPs is that cat crap is smaller and they do a much better job of trying to bury it. Whereas Tory MPs usually get caught out for some crap they fail to bury. I've been Rodney Beckford, thank you very much for listening to me, and remember, Tory MPs are like cats, they always land on their feet, so don't be too upset when one ends up in a wheelie bin. A Tory MP that is. <laughs>